Welcome to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today we're taking a look at my favourite eShop deals covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. Now while the US and Canada sadly did never see the super sale, things are at least warming up so hit subscribe, join us here on Switch Corner for reviews and deals near daily and let's get started. <music> Before we do get into this then, a lot of today's deals they end soon so do check out not only this video but my last few linked in the comment down below. You may just want to region hop and pick a few things up. Doing my best here to make this easy to understand but it will be quickfire to get everything in and it was a bit of a weird one to bring together. Finally, if you do want discounted eShop credit, then head to cornershop.gg in the pinned comment below and you'll get 10% off with code CORNER at checkout. Finally, as always, I do have two winners to announce for two $10 eShop gift cards later in the video and two more to give away to enter. It's simple, drop a comment down below in the winners, they're announced in next week's video. Metro 2033 Redux and Last Light then both get a new low price individually with 75% off. It's making two of the best shooters on the Nintendo Switch an absolute steal. These are first person shooters but they do put a heavy focus on their narrative. It's a world destroyed and mutated as you live out your life in a subway system. These are great looking ports so and I love the fact it doesn't have to be all out shooting, you can be stealth about it too. The first game I consider it to be more linear with a whole lot of like, you know, underground exploration. While the second embraces the idea of small open locations to kind of wage war in, you get to determine your own direction. I would suggest both though because the story here, it is something special. Made of Scare then is one I reviewed here on the channel, it gets a new low price of 50% off based on a Welsh folklore, it's a story of a remote hotel and you are setting out to save a loved one. It's a story of basically torture and slavery and it definitely gets pretty dark. It's not running gun either, rather stealth with blind enemies and your defence basically a sound device. I love the late 1800 setting but I did argue the enemy design it kind of gets repetitive very quickly. They went on to update it though with extra modes for free that lean more into an action focus but I'm yet to check that out myself. This deal it ends like the rest of the UK, EU, Australian super sales on the 19th of June. On deals ending soon then, let's do a quick batch here, but first, Undernight in birth, late clear. We see this sale all the time in the US and Canada, but never elsewhere, so this is definitely a win with a new low price, 80% off. Now it's a fighter, one of the best in my opinion on the Nintendo Switch. I've linked my full review below, but expect everything from local play to arcade to online to a story mode which is essentially a visual novel in its design. It's up there though with Blaze Blue as one of the best on the system. Assassin's Creed Ezio Collection then is another deal we had recently in the US and Canada but now it's elsewhere with an increased as well 40% off. Now this bundles together for many the best the Assassin's Creed series has ever outputted and these are fantastic ports. That's going to be Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood and Revelations. Now I reviewed the second one on the channel so do find that below in the pinned comment but this for me fantastic lead, fantastic games, absolutely worth a visit. Alien Isolation then is on sale and matching the low for 50% off. I always like to talk to this one because it's not only one of the best Alien games out there but it's an incredible port as well. Here we take on the role of Ripley's daughter who after discovering a black box goes on the hunt for her mother. Arriving at a station though all hell has broken loose and it's time to explore and stealth your way through this location and it's of course filled with aliens and if they don't get you maybe the droids will. This has then all seven DLC packs including Last Survivor that is a recreation of Ellen Ripley's final mission which is again just really well done and it really builds upon the lore of this universe. Just a quick shout out then, on Thursday I did a sponsored spot with Curve Digital, their most recent release and well loved Autonauts a scene release on the Nintendo Switch. Realised I had the wrong link in the comments and I want to do right by them. You know the game is well loved, you're setting out to construct new civilizations. So yeah, the Nintendo Switch link it is now in the pinned comment down below, go show them some love, definitely deserves the attention. 
Ease Origin then is a fantastic game, it's here matching the low with 60% off. Started its life on the PS Vita I believe, but you can see that in the visuals, but the gameplay it is definitely solid. Now the idea here was demons are invading and to protect you, these angels of sorts they lift you into the sky, your city that is. The problem, they are now coming after you, they're building the devil's tower and your protectors they are missing. Get in here though as one of three characters and now save the day. The locations can honestly be a little repetitive in their design. One character also particularly annoying. But I've got my full review below so do check it out. It's definitely worth a look. It's packing then additional modes as well. That's going to be Time Attack Arena and Speedrun which is definitely a nice change of pace for the genre. Everhood then is a gem that I like to go on about and we get a new low price outside of the US and Canada. This one is perhaps one of the stranger games I've played in recent memory. Now you control a wooden doll whose arms have been stolen by a blue gnome. What follows then is basically a musical based journey, think rhythm based battles and it's around 6 hours of weirdness. This world is incredible though, it gets challenging as well and I'd suggest watch a full review, just get a good feel for the mechanics in here. A new low price then, 33% off. Four quick mentions here then, they need no introduction but I rarely talk to them so just know for that super sale we do have some AAA releases with the usual 33% off. That's going to be Luigi's Mansion 3 fantastic game as well as The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Loved this port honestly, I wasn't sure on the new visual style going in but in motion thought it really suited the gameplay. Alongside those two then we also get Doom Eternal matching the low price with 67% off, another fantastic port job. My full video for this one's in the pinned comments. Alongside Octopath Traveler, now this one gets 50% off also matching the low price, I think it's one of the strongest RPGs on the system with a huge cast, an interweaved story and a stunning visual style that we got to see actually again in Triangle Strategy. I think it's going to be sticking around now for a while until they completely overuse it and we all get fed up of it. They pretty much nearly always do that. Our first winner of the week then it's going to Oscar who was hoping for a US discount on Death Store and sadly it is still yet to happen, maybe or hopefully next week. Congrats to Oscar, drop me an email to claim your code and everyone else, there's a second winner coming up shortly in the video. Before we do get to the final three games, and I told you this was going to be a weird one this week, it was a pain to put this list together, but Bloodshore, I have to give Wales Interactive a shout out, this is their latest FMV, it's completely ridiculous, it's somewhere between think Running Man and real life Fortnite, but I thought it was entertaining in a kind of almost so bad it's good kind of way. My full video is below though and it's a new low price, 30% off. Opus Echo of Star Song then to kick off the final three games and I'm considering this my pickup meaning can't recommend it necessarily but maybe you'll want to join me for that raid. The reason I'm yet to beat it basically, I'm seeing a good 10 or so hour runtime, but what I've seen this far maybe 3-4 hours in, it's emotionally charged absolutely stunning in motion. It's a visual novel styled adventure, it's definitely a slow burn as well and no question about that and it sets you out in a team, you're hunting for treasure while learning about yourself along the way. It caps it off then though with a ton of decisions that play a big impact, musical styled puzzle so listening for that next location and again visuals stunning, music stunning, it is such a well done game. I'm hoping it can now though pay off with its conclusion and it's a new low price, 20% off. Our penultimate game of the video then, that is Grapple Dug. This is here, rocking 30% off. It comes from the team over at Super Rare Games. It was their first ever digital release. Now, I reviewed it on the channel. Find that in the pinned comment below, but I was really impressed. It's a platformer with a sizable amount of levels behind it, and there's some serious creativity with its title, Grapple Hook. There was some minor frame drops at launch, but overall, I think genre fans will be impressed. It may look cute too, but just know it knows when it needs to pack a challenge and you'll be a pro by the end game. I particularly enjoyed the 3D overworld map though, but I do wish they'd done more with these like sailing sections. Our second winner then, Ray, who highlighted Hades as one of their favourites and I think many of you will join with that statement. Great to see though a drop in price for it. Congrats so Ray, drop me an email to claim your code and everyone else, drop a comment down below for your chance to win in next week's video. 
Celeste then to close us out. This went on sale a few days back. It's a short window. We've seen this price before in the US and Canada, but for those in the UK, EU and Australia, this is long overdue. It's a new low price, but it's actually been over two years since the last price drop. That is a huge amount of time. A modern classic, though it won countless awards, and rightly so. Telling the story of Madeleine, you'll help her on a journey to the top of Celeste Mountain, overcoming her inner demons. Think here, incredibly tough Twitch platforming, 700 plus screens in fact to overcome. And yeah, that's before you even get to the B-side chapters as well, which really dial things up. The controls are simple, meaning everyone can pick this up, and I absolutely suggest they do. It is well loved for good reason. And that is the week down. Will you be adding anything to the library or holding onto that cash? Hopefully next week the eShop returns to normal and we get a little more consistency across regions. Either that at least or they give the US and Canada their turn at this super sale and I can go ahead and pick through that. Remember then if you are grabbing anything consider heading to cornershop.gg and use code corner at checkout for 10% off. The channel gets a smaller kickback that of course helps and you'll find the information in the pinned comment below. With that then, like a shout out to the patrons of the channel who are going above and beyond to support Switch Corner. It helps more than you know, so thank you all so much. Then hit subscribe, join us here on Switch Corner for reviews and deals near daily. And I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.